Right, so back to the remote computer, and on the screen I've just got the uh, config file that I created to try and adjust the keyboard. It was this section here, it's not near the bottom of the page, um, that obviously didn't work, but it might be something that is useful. Um, you just have to find the correct country code. Obviously, if you're in France, then the answer's right in front of your eyes, but otherwise, like for myself, I'd have to do some research to find out what it should be set to. So we've finally got the graphical environment working. Um, and just get to the end of the chapter. There's a few things it tells you about, um, about fonts and so on. It's possible to change how your fonts are hinted. The following example file contains the default settings, but with comments. Settings are very much down to user's preferences and to the choice of fonts. So change which, so change which improves some pages may worsen others. So it's something you can do. Um, to be honest, I can't even remember if I did do this or not. I probably did put it in. Um, Okay, so it's an XML file. So I guess we can put this in. Um, if it causes problems, we don't want to do it and it's not needed. I'm not even sure if uh, Myth TV will use it or if it uses its own settings or not. Paste it in. I'll just verify that got created correctly. Oh, it's for it's for the current user anyway. Um, so let me delete it for the root user. I didn't see that. Uh, it does say for your user as well. <laughs> um, Let's retry that. Again, that doesn't seem to have copied. Let's see what happens to the presenter. No, it's not. That's strange. It's something to do when it scrolls, I think. It loses the end of the selection. Okay, so now if I do an edit on that file, okay, that's a bit easier to read. So it looks like it is setting some things up, some things may be disabled. So yeah, it might be something you want to adjust or not bother with even. So the old bitmap fonts, which are the ugly, yeah, they were ugly. Um, many people don't need to install any of them, but if for some reason you've installed one or more bitmap fonts, you can prevent them from being used by font config by creating the following file as a root user. So this is probably a good thing to put in because they are pretty horrible to look at and quite pixelated. Adding extra font directory is not going to go into this because uh, it's unlikely you want to install any fonts. Um, I do have to say one thing I've noticed in the Myth TV logs that it looks for liberation fonts, so you might want to install them. Um, here's a link, in fact, for it. Is this internal? Yes, it is. Um, I guess we could try and install them actually.
So let's see if we can install these. Uh, let's go back here. Let's fetch the fonts. Oops. Oh. Extract them. It still does work without the liberation font, so if you don't want to bother with them, then that's up to you. But I, th I think it just switches to the equivalent with, oh, well, I can't remember now, whatever it can find, probably the Deja Vu. Um, and then all we need to do is basically follow the similar instructions to what we did before with the Deja Vu. So uh, let's become the root again. Paste that in and, for example, call it liberation. And we'll copy that and alter it so that we're copying all the TTFs into the liberation directory. That's okay. And then we update the font cache with the liberation directory. And you can see the important bit there, cache is valid 12 fonts. So that's uh, quite an easy thing to do. Uh, in fact, I might add that in. There's something else to do, not necessary, but uh, it prevents errors in the Myth TV, uh, yeah, Myth TV logs. So they're optional, but used by Myth TV. So let's come out of that and tidy that up. Okay, so if you want to prefer a particular font, then there's a set up file there, some stuff for Chinese, um, is it Japanese and Korean fonts, and then there's this page about with all the other different types of fonts that can be installed, Xorg Legacy, and that's the end of this chapter, because we've already installed that for TWM.